Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Austin from awfulmedia.com and today we're going to start the series on creating a custom WordPress theme from scratch. And since we're going to be doing this on a local server, the first thing we have to do is create a local server. But before we jump into any of that, I want to actually explain my plans with this theme, talk about what we're going to do, and talk about how we're going to do it. The first thing, it's not going to be a blog. I mean, you can really adapt it to do whatever you want to do, but WordPress is so powerful now that you can do anything you can think of simply using WordPress. So we're going to use WordPress as a CMS and not necessarily a blogging platform. And the type of website we're going to create is going to be a website that the idea was kind of given to me by a comment uh, commenter on one of my last videos but not really the same thing. I think he had more of a, a different approach in mind. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a WordPress theme that allows for us to submit Flash games. And when I say that, I mean we're going to be mostly just embedding, but I guess you could uh, take it if you like create Flash games yourself or allow for users to upload Flash games. Just make like a gaming website, something kind of like Congregate or Armor Games, websites like that. So we're going to have to accomplish a few things. We're going to have to accomplish a custom post type. And if you're not familiar with uh, WordPress, you may not have any idea what I'm talking about. All a custom post type is, is it's something that's not just a post. In our case, it's going to be something that requires a title, the game embed code itself, or the flash file, depending on which way you're going. It's going to have to require a publisher name so we could take the name, or not a publisher name, a creator name, uh, the studio name, whoever designed the game, so we can have an area for that. Going to have to have a release date, uh, things like that. And I plan on having a field for the plays, uh, the amount of plays the game has seen. So we're going to have to set up a system that will track views of a single post in WordPress. And they're going to use that data and actually bring up like a hot games list on the front page. That all sounds kind of fun, right? But it's going to be a ton of work. Again, you don't have to take this and just learn how to create a Flash game website. I just thought a Flash game website would be something that would be fun to do. And something I've not seen anybody do before and show you how to do something. But, you know, it, <laughs> I don't really have a use for a Flash game website myself. It's just a fun idea, and I may release the template. Actually, I'm sure I will release the theme on awfulmedia.com, so look forward to that, or don't look forward to it either way. But I am done rambling now. Um, I think you have an idea of what I plan on doing and an idea of the approach we're going to take. A bunch of custom stuff going on here, a bunch of from scratch stuff. We're going to be using Skeleton. You can get it at getskeleton.com. It is a framework, kind of. Pretty much just a column system, just a grid system. We're going to be using that. And WordPress, and for our local server, we're going to be using WAMP server. And what does WAMP actually mean? WAMP means a Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And all that stuff is what comes together to make a local server, or to make any kind of server. But it's a way to download all these packages and have them all work together for you so you can have a local server on. Okay, so second take this time. Uh, my file corrupted last time after 15 minutes of recording, but I kind of realized that 15 minutes is definitely too long for, um, for what I'm showing you. So I'm going to try and compress it down and get it done quicker and be less descriptive about some things. So what you have to do is you have to download WAMP server, go to wampserver.com slash en slash, and it will take you to this website. You want to click download and it will take you down to the download section. Depending on your system, you will want to download the one that is uh, built for your system. I am using a 64 bit version and I want the latest PHP. So I will download this one right here, 64 bits and PHP 5.4. So let's click on that and you'll get this. On the uh, regular version of the website, the, no the non-English version, you actually have a form here you can fill in to receive updates, but I'm not seeing it here. 
So yeah, we're just going to click, you can download it directly right there. It will take you to sourceforge.net, wait a couple seconds, and it will download the uh, .exe file for you. I'm not showing you how to download a file. I'm not trying to talk to you like you're stupid. I'm just um, wanting to make sure that everything is clear before we move into the next uh, the next parts of the tutorial series. Okay, so locate what you just downloaded, and it will look just like this. I'm going to go ahead and run that and install the WAMP server. Install. Okay, next we all know how to do this. Not a big deal. Going to install mine directly in the C drive inside the WAMP folder. And I would like a desktop icon, please. And that will install. Now, there are a few options you can choose um, other than WAMP. There's ZAMP, and if you're on a Mac, there's MAMP, and Linux, there's WAMP. So, I mean, there's, there's something for everybody, for the popular oper uh, operating systems. So it's not limited to WAMP. I used to use ZAMP, uh, which is X-A-M-P-P, -P, I believe. And I liked it, but I'm actually enjoying uh, WAMP quite a bit more. Okay, so it's asking for our default browser. And I use Chrome, so I'm going to search Chrome, open file location, and grab this address there and paste it right here so I don't have to go searching for it, and select it. And there we go. And I don't have a mail server or anything that I care about, so um, I'm just going to click finish and launch WAMP's, WAMP server to now. And that's going to be stuck on my screen, probably because of my recording software. Okay, there we go. And now you'll notice it didn't actually load any windows. What it actually did was uh, loaded it in the background, and now we have this task icon down here. If we click on that, we'll get these options. And I will explain a couple of these. But first, what we need to do is go to back to our browser and go to wordpress.org. Now, wordpress.org is different than wordpress.com. Uh, .org is the downloadable version, and .com is the hosted version. So make sure you go to .org. Click download. Again, the same stuff over and over and over. Open that up. And open oops. Open up the WordPress file or the folder within the uh, WinRAR file. If you do not have WinRAR, go to rarlabs.com or org or something. Just Google it, you can find it. And now what we have to do is put all of these files and folders within our local servers directory, right within the web files folder. Something like that, right? Yeah, <laughs> okay. So I will go to start and I will type in WAMP and I will open that file location. I am using Windows 7 so go about finding your stuff uh, whatever way you find it depending on your operating system. I just do it this way. So uh, yeah. Okay and then we're in the WAMP folder. We have all of these files and folders. The one we're going to be focusing on is the www folder. Open up that folder. We have an index.php, then a test mysql.php. The index.php is what you will see if you click on this icon and go to localhost. Localhost, that is how you, uh, that's, that's the address you type in to get to the www directory on your server. Okay, that all makes sense, right? So, what we have to do now though is install WordPress into this folder. So install WordPress into the www folder. So how we're going to do that is take all of these files out of the rar file, or sorry, the .zip file, uh, drag them into the www, and that will extract them and place them, oh, excuse me, into the www folder. And then we want to move and replace the index.php because uh, before it had a index.php page and what we're dragging in there also has an index.php page. So move and replace, we want the WordPress index.php page. 
Now, if we were to go here and exit all the stuff out there, if we were to go here and refresh, uh, there doesn't seem to be a WordPress config.php file, and we need one of those, so we have to make one. We can just go through this interface to make one. You need all this stuff, a database name, username, password, host, and a table prefix. Okay, that sounds difficult, but it's not. What we have to do is just fill in these fields with our database's information. How do we get our database's information? Well, we go back to the icon, click that, and uh, if we go to phpMyAdmin, this is the interface you're going to be using to uh, build your database and your, ta and your tables. So what we're going to do from here is create our first database. Mine's going to be called Game Square because that's the name of my theme I am building for this video series. And the collation, I want it to be Unicode, uh, so UTF-8, where's it at? There we go. And create. And it says the Game Square database has been created. Awesome, thank you. So we now have the first field will be game square and if you just now installed wamp zamp whatever typically the username will be root so you can go ahead and do that if it's not root if you've changed it and you forgot how to change it again or whatever it may be i will show you really quickly we're going to go to the wamp folder again and we're going to go this time into oh, the apps pitch my admin we're going to locate the config file right here. Edit with Notepad++. And then right here, we have the user is root. This is to sign into phpMyAdmin. It typically shares with uh, MySQL. And the password is blank, but it will also allow no password. So we're going to leave it at no password for simplicity. So erase the password field there. Keep that local host, and I'm going to keep the WordPress underscore. You don't have to. You can change it, but I am going to. Submit. All right, Sparky, you've made it through. Congratulations, good job, and you're ready to go. Yay, run the install. So now we're going to create the information for the WordPress site itself. Uh, so Game Square is going to be the title of the website. Username will be Austin. The password will be a very complex one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Email is Austin at alphamedia.com and I will install WordPress. Give it uh, five seconds or so, let it do its thing, and then I'll show you a couple things just in case this is the first time you've played around with WordPress. And that'll be it for this video. To sign in, use what you just put in there, Austin, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Log in. And it will take us to the WordPress dashboard. Now from here, this is where you can administrate your website. You can post new posts, you can upload new media, you can uh, edit your links, uh, moderate comments, make new pages, adjust the appearance. I'm just reading down all this, I'm just kidding. And uh, moderate your users. All that good stuff, right? Uh, but I'm not going to go into any detail about WordPress just yet because we're going to have plenty of that. Plenty, plenty of that in the future. Because we're going to be taking uh, WordPress and undergoing a huge, huge task. But it's going to be fun. We're going to learn a lot. And I'm excited. I'm nervous. It's, it's a lot to... What? Why would I want to do that? Performance is slow. <laughs> it is not slow. What? Is it because I'm recording? I don't I don't understand that. I have actually a pretty powerful PC. Um uh, whatever. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. WordPress, yeah, okay. So we can go to Game Square up here and click visit the site. And this is actually how the WordPress default theme looks when you just uh, install a fresh version of WordPress. Okay, so I believe that's it for this tutorial or this video that's going to be the introduction to the tutorial series. You now have everything you need for us to get started. 
Well, just about. I want to show you a couple more things uh, in the next video. But that's pretty much it. Uh, please subscribe for the tutorial series. It's going to be a long one, I think. I'm counting on at least, I don't know, I don't want to say a number, probably 15, 20, 30,000 something video parts. So make sure to subscribe for that. Uh, like the videos if you like them. You don't know how much that means when you like something or you comment on something or you subscribe. It, it helps so much. And just, there's a train outside. There is a train. <sighs> it's always something that I try to record a video. Uh, I don't care. I'm just going to keep going. Hmm. Yeah, so please like like the videos if you like them. And, uh, you know, comment. That, that helps. <laughs> I hope you can actually hear the train, or I just I sound stupid right now. Okay, so I will see you next time, which is hopefully tomorrow or the next day, depending on when I get these recorded. I don't want to release like I don't want to release one and only have one done and not be able to record and miss a couple days. I just ugh. so I'm going to try and keep like two at a time at least, so I know I have one when I miss one and. Who cares? Okay, I'll see you next time. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, goodbye.